My whole life has been turned upside down. It's been days since I've seen my family. They disappeared, leaving me home alone. They even locked all the doors from the outside and boarded up all the windows. They took my cell phone with them. The only communication I've had with the outside world was through the dark web. Even though my internet has been shut off, I can still surf the dark web. Most computers have a Bluetooth transmitter. This allows me to ping computers around me and create a sort of artificial internet through Bluetooth. Without this, I would have been completely shut off from any communication. If you're wondering, I've known about the dark web for years. Most of the time I explored random forums to try and find cool stuff. But being locked in my house, I tried to find solutions on how to get out. The third day without my parents, I woke up and got right on my computer. I typed in myproblems.onion and clicked enter. This was a site where you can talk about anything that's bothering you. People mostly talked about their personal issues. I loved this site because you never got censored. Unlike another site that rhymes with shredded, you can talk about anything you want without any moderators taking down posts or limiting you to some stupid word count. It was a breath of fresh air. My username was JP. I usually only made posts about my anxiety, but this time I shared my current story. I titled the post, My family left me. I'm locked inside my house. What should I do? A user by the name of Trevor responded, Drink your parents' alcohol. I replied back, Yeah, that might be cool, but I'll pass on the killer hangover. Plus, I have no one to drink with, so what's the fun in that? Without hesitation, Trevor typed back, Yeah, that is true. I forgot you were locked in. Have you tried to escape yet? I replied, yes, but there is no point. The house has brand new metal doors and the windows have boards over them. Plus, I think my parents will be back any day and all this will all end soon. Trevor responded, I think you need to try a little harder, but that's just my two cents. Another user joined the chat. His name was Tom. Tom said, hey JP, I'm sorry your parents have you locked up like that. I know how you feel. I was locked up by my family a few years ago. Wow, why did they lock you up? And how did you get out? I asked. Tom continued, when I was young, my family forced me to take a special kind of medication. They said I had too much energy and that this would calm me down. After taking the medication for a few months, I started to lose track of time. I would forget whole days and not know what happened. My family became frightened by me. And before I knew it, I was in a room that I could not escape. So how did you get out of the room? I asked. Tom continued, once a week, I would get a visitor. That was the only time the door to my room was opened and closed. Usually my weekly visitor was my mother. She was the only one who cared for me. We would talk about life and she would tell me that soon I would be out of here. I knew that wasn't going to happen. I could always hear it in her voice. I knew deep down it was my father keeping me in this room. He was never proud of me. He put me on the damn medication to start with. On one particular week, the visitor wasn't my mom, it was my father. As soon as he opened the door, I lunged at him in a blinded rage. I strangled him until his last breath. I ran out the door into the open world. I have been free ever since. Wow, that is quite the story, I typed back. So what are you going to do, JP? Tom asked. I don't know. I will probably just stay here on the dark web. Most of my days are spent in my room anyways, I replied. It is a trap, JP. The longer you stay in your room, the more of a hold they have on you. Pretty soon you will be happy and content inside the little box you're in. You need to get out, JP. Get out as soon as possible. How do I get out? All the doors are locked and I can't seem to open any windows, I typed back. Think, JP. Has your door opened at all since you've been trapped? Tom asked. I vaguely remember the door creaking open. Then it immediately locked shut. That is all I know, I said. Perfect. Whether you know it or not, someone is checking up on you, JP. You need to listen carefully to my instructions. You are in a special state. Your family likely checks up on you when you are asleep. Tonight, I want you to keep your eyes open. Be ready for your door to open. Once it opens, let the person walk in. After they walk in far enough, lunge at them. Strangle them, JP. They don't care about you. They want to suck your life away like they did to me. Once you kill them, you're free to go. Go out into the world and experience what life is about. I think that is a little drastic, Tom. My family wants the best for me. I could never lay a hand on them, I replied. Tom typed back. Well, that is the only solution, JP. If you don't act now, you will never be able to leave your room. I've known people who have been trapped for a lifetime. You will start to slowly lose your mind and become deranged. I didn't know what to think. Was this true? 
Would I be trapped in my room forever? There was no way this could be possible. Tom, I don't think you know what you're talking about. You're probably just a dark web troll, I said. Take my advice or leave it, JP. I am just trying to help you out. I think they are starting to triangulate on my position. Gotta go, JP. I wish you the best. Tom had left the chat. Now I was in the chat room alone, not sure what to make of the advice I had been given. All of a sudden, another user by the name of Brandon joined the chat. A sense of familiarity struck me as Brandon was my older brother. I knew it couldn't be him, but I instantly felt a sense of companionship with this random guy. Hey Brandon, I see you just entered the chat. Do you have any advice for my situation? I asked. I created your situation, brother. I am the reason you're locked up, he typed back. My heart sank. There is no way this could be my actual brother. That's the only downside of the dark web. You are free to do whatever you want without getting banned. So trolls are everywhere. Why don't you go troll someone else? I want real advice and real help, I said. No, really, JP, I am your brother. I just wanted to say how happy I am with mom and dad without you around. It has been a blast, Brandon replied. Now I was getting angry. This guy was next level trolling me. Get the hell out of this thread. You are not welcome here, I replied. Remember all those times we raced to eat our vitamins as kids? He asked. Brandon's questions stopped me in my tracks. How did he know this information? This was getting personal. Lucky guess, if you actually know who I am, what is my birth date? I asked. Your birth date is November 17th, 1996. Okay, anyone can look up my social media account and tell me my birthday. I had a polar bear stuffed animal growing up. What did I name him? I asked. There was no way this troll could guess this. Your dumb polar bear was named Harley, Brandon replied. Suddenly, I felt a cold chill overtake my body. All the blood rushed away from my face. This had to be my brother. How did he know I would be on this site? The odds of this are astronomical. This really was him. How the hell did you know I would be on here? I asked. We track everything you do, JP, he replied. I felt betrayed by my own brother. I thought we were friends. I thought he wanted the best for me. And why would you track everything I do? I asked. Brandon responded, because you are a danger to yourself and everyone around you. Ever since you were young, you've shown dangerous tendencies. Hell, you almost drowned me in the pool when we were five. We put you on medication, but you would never take it. That is why I created a fake game to take our vitamins. That was the only way we could get you to take your meds. These were all lies. There was no way Brandon was telling the truth. I started to get angry. My anger quickly escalated and I went into a blinding rage. You are trapped here forever, JP. I am sorry it had to be this way. You are a danger to the world, he replied. Lies, lies, these are all elaborate lies. There was no way he was telling the truth. My anger triggered something inside of me. I opened my eyes. The room was white all around me. Every surface was soft to the touch. My sheets even ripped apart when I pulled them. What the hell kind of place is this? I thought to myself. All of a sudden, my brother Brandon walked in the room. Hey JP, the doctor said you were doing better. I brought you some food, he said. I knew this was my time to act. Tom was right. I will never escape this room if I don't try. I ran over to Brandon and wrapped my arms around his neck. My hold around his neck grew tighter and tighter. He kicked and wiggled around, but soon his body became still. I laid him across the floor. A man in a white lab coat walked in. Oh my God, oh my God, what just happened? I bolted past him. I ran and never stopped. I escaped the room that haunted my thoughts. I am finally able to experience what the world really has to offer. Tom was right. This feels great. Thanks for listening. If you enjoy these stories, be sure to subscribe to the podcast and check out some more of my episodes here.